Hello everyone, this is the Underage Trucker. Now, okay, yes, this is my first video in like over 10 years, but that's fine, we'll come back to that later. The reason I wanted to make a video is Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown has just come out, and I'll be honest, they did kind of scuff the launch Com completely and utterly. You know, it was offline, uh, online only, and the servers were basically down and no one could play. You know, it doesn't really look good. It is now to a point where I have been able to play the game basically whenever I want to, uh, which is good. And as a result, because there's been a lot of negativity and, you know, hate around the game at the moment, I wanted to make a quick video basically just looking at the other side of that, uh, the kind of more positive side of everything. Um, I mean, I'm a diehard TDU franchise fan. You know, I got the second one, you know, on the day of release. So I really, really, really want to love this game. And I thought in order to help me do that, I might as well share with you guys some of my very early initial impressions of, you know, what I think about the game. Now, to give you an idea, I am only like level 15. I've only explored like three districts, four districts, maybe, maybe five. Not too much. Literally just this outside bit for the most part. So I am very early on into the game. So some of these opinions may change for better or worse later on. Being in an F-Type SVR, you know, kind of allows me to go straight into my first point, which is kind of the way a lot of the cars sound in this game. Mm. They've done a pretty good job on them, to be honest. They just sound quite... Turn my indicator off. It's still on. Go away. The, the cars that I have kind of spent a little bit of time with, most of them have sounded pretty solid. And I don't know, there's just something about that. Makes it feel beefy, you know? It sounds like I, I'm only using the controller, but it feels like even like pushing all the way down onto the controller, I feel like I, you know, I can almost like feel the torque through how it sounds. <laughs> oh! <laughs> that pop and bang, by the way, was like perfect timing, so thank you for that. <laughs> now, the next thing I kind of want to go on to, which is why I'm getting off the motorway a little bit and just trying to find somewhere with some slightly more twisty roads, um, is really to go over the physics, because to be fair, for such a kind of budget, I'm sure they threw a lot of money at it, but compared to Forza, the budget on it, it was not really there, and the physics, you know what? They don't actually feel too bad. They don't feel like, you know, a set of course or eye racing or anything like that, but I've got the traction control off, and, you know, you can kind of get it round corners a little bit. Oh! And uh, it's just it's just not that bad. I, I would say it's actually good. I mean, we're all wearing, you know, rose-tinted glasses when it comes to TDU2, but let's be honest, the physics weren't good. Um, so this, the physics is definitely an improvement, and I'll take these physics over TDU2, like, kind of any day, really. Now, I am quite early on, so this next bit I might be wrong on, but that grind is there. A lot of games like, you know, Forza, for example, you have 100,000 cars and 12 million credits, and, you know, you're poor, right? This game is clearly not like that. One thing I really liked about the other TDU games is every car that you owned was individual and you wanted it and you worked towards it. It's not just another car. And I think that feeling will come back stronger when they bring back houses. But even for now, at least being able to go into the garage and put whatever cars you want on show in there, you know, there are cars that I want in life. And I want to feel a similar sort of achievement getting them in this game as I do in real life. And, okay, obviously it's not going to be to that extent. But to go into your garage and be able to see your F-Type, you know, spec'd the way you'd want it in the colour combo that you'd want it. You know, if it was easy to get, it you know, it wouldn't you wouldn't feel good about it. And, okay, this car is a DLC, yes. But I can see that happening with, like, how the grind is for money how you earn money and, you know, how long it takes, which some people might not really like that, but gets a thumbs up from me. Now, the next thing I want to go over 
And this one might be a bit controversial, to be fair. I want to go over how this game looks. The graphics. Now, a lot of people say it looks last gen and it looks outdated. But to me, I, I think the graphics are good. Now, don't get me wrong. There are times where they look better than other times. Um, this game particularly excels at night and in the rain. And, you know, it's neither of those right now. But I think on the whole, the, it's a good looking game. The model, the car models are really good. You can really, you know, get a sense of scale with the car models. I think they look really, really clean. The water on the road, the little details like the car, just, you know, the rain coming off the wheels. I think it's a good looking game. I think it's difficult to deny it. I'm happy with how it looks. Is it the best looking game ever? You know, okay, that's debatable. Obviously. But, you know, look at these screenshots, man. They look nice. When the lot, when they, the, what they've done is they've got lighting down to a T. So fair play to them because I, I think, I think it looks great. You know, just to give you an idea on kind of the settings that I'm on. So I am, to be fair, the game is maxed out at the moment. Uh, it's just on Ultra. And, yeah. It runs on a... What what GPU have I got? Uh, so, damn. It's an RX 6800 XT, I believe. And it runs about 60 70 fps on ultra settings so i mean it is quite beefy to run i'll give it that but when you do crank it up yeah it can look very nice so the next thing you know is not really new tdu2 had a lot of this but i'm glad that they kept the attention to detail that everyone liked you know the hazard lights they come on automatically if you've been stationary for a second. You can flash your lights at people. Now, I think that is to initiate instant races, but, you know, if you drive a BMW, you can just get on the M way and start flashing people on the outside lane. It's great. Obviously, you've got headlights on and on. On and on? On and off. And, you know, I think they really... They did the lighting quite well, as I say. Uh... You know, you got your turn signals left and right. You can put your window down. Somehow. Am I putting it down? Window. There it is. And then you can hear the car more. It's louder when you put the window down and you're in first person view. It's almost like there were a couple of people developing this game who actually knew what they were doing. Oh yeah, and you can put the windscreen wipers on. How cool is that? And going back to the sounds, you know, the hazard lights make the sounds. You can hear them inside the car. And you can also hear the windscreen wipers wiping. You know, it's just, just those little things, you know, just those little things. Another thing as well, um, clearly, you know, you are rewarded for exploring in this game. It does incentivize you to explore the map. And like, I've only done like 8% of the map. Right? So I've got a lot to do. But all of the little bits. Uh, solar coins and you know reputation. And stuff like that. That you can find around the map. You know does obviously incentivize. The exploration side. Which is good. Because you know. I think relatively speaking. The map's not as big as a lot of other maps. But. God it's got so much detail in it man. Like. You know, I feel like I've been driving for about an hour going from, like, here to here. And it's only, like, three miles away. <laughs> you know what, yeah? This game, it is just fun. Like, it is just a fun game. It's not perfect. It's, it so has its issues, but I can really, really see the potential for it. I'm not going to lie. Give it a year, and I, 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 think, I think this is going to be a really solid game. Just while I am like absolutely zesting it around these corners as well, being on the top road, it does allow me to also talk about the sensor speed, which 
is probably done better in this game than 90% of other games that I've played off the top of my head. Like, I'm only doing 150, which, okay, yeah, that's fast, but you can do that in real life, you know. You know, you can do that in, in real life. And, okay, yes, it does feel quick in real life, but it feels quick here as well. Like, in Forza, if you're, if you're doing one, 150, you know, you might as well be walking, you know, but... You know, I'm not even reaching 100 miles an hour, and it feels like I'm getting some serious speed, which is good, you know. Like, once you get it above 100, 115, 120, and this isn't a stupid... I mean, it's a fast car, but it's by no means the fastest car in the game, and... You know, I'm doing 160 miles an hour, and it literally feels like I'm about to take off. The, the sense of speed is definitely there. It really does feel like I'm absolutely sending it through these towns. You know, it feels like I should be getting put in prison for driving like this. And yeah, that sense of speed, it, it just adds to the immersion, just that little bit extra, which, you know, that's that's what it's about with these racing games, isn't it? It's because we can't afford to drive these cars in real life. <laughs> and also, it doesn't matter when we do that. I think if you've never played either of the other test drive unlimited games and you played this and all you had been used to was forza i think you would be very impressed so far you know just little things like having the dealerships and i know there's no houses and the solar hotel is a bit of a gimmick but at least it's there at least they you know they tried to make a little bit of an effort um and they'd already delayed the game like two years you know at that point just give us something and what they've given us uh, so far as i say it's got its problems but I think it's decent. I do think it's decent. Not that this is really an excuse because it is like basically a fully released ga game. The early access that I'm on at the moment is an early access to the full version of the game, right? So this is the full version of the game and they did scuff the launch and I think they've ruined their chances for a lot of people. But I'm, I'm interested to see what they can do. They've got a good, good foundation. They do have a good foundation. The game has just come out. And to be fair, that's just kind of what I wanted to run through today. The game has been getting a lot of shit, which, you know, I'm not saying it doesn't deserve. It does deserve it, but I don't think that means we should write the game off. If you're anything like me, you know, we've been waiting like, you know, like 13 years since the second one came out for this one to come out. You're really going to drop it because of a shit launch? Really? No. Give it a chance. So what if it takes a year? It's going to be a good game. And, you know, we need to have faith that, obviously, these guys know what they're doing. Ah, oh, We've got some serious speed right now. We're doing nearly 200. And again, like in other games, 200 wouldn't feel that crazy. But in here, you know, this 200 miles out, this is a lot of speed. A lot of speed. <laughs> anyway, that's basically everything I wanted to go through about, as I say, Test Drive Unlimited. Before I end the video, I'll come back to what I mentioned at the start of this video quickly. Now, I haven't actually uploaded a video for over 10 years. And when I did, it was... Um, basically me playing Euro Truck Simulator 2 and you know I was 13 at that time now I'm 23 and life ended up getting in the way a little bit now the reason I wanted to upload this video to this channel was just to see I highly doubt any of you who did watch my old stuff are going to be watching this video but if you are hello I <laughs> appreciate the loyalty but it was really just to get a bit of feedback you know I basically recorded this in one take, bar a little bit of editing, and, you know, I haven't been in front of a camera for, as I say, like, over 10 years, so I'm definitely going to be a little bit rusty, but if you guys quite liked, kind of, what I did, and you wanted me to make a few more videos, maybe me actually doing some progression in TDU, or, you know, even hopping back on Euro Truck Simulator, um, I do have a Quest 3, so maybe some VR stuff, a bit of a set of Corsa in VR, 
just, you know, general gaming, having a bit of fun, or even just, you know, chatting about current situation of games, you know. If any of you are interested in, you know, maybe me making some of that and seeing whether or not I can make a decent video or two, then let me know, I'll give it a crack. Other than that, peace out.